Listen up, mortals. Make sure to subscribe to iVault Gaming and follow him on his social media platforms or be destroyed. So how's it going everybody? It's Avalt and welcome back to discussion video. Now today we're going to be discussing about why Android 17 was strong enough to keep up against Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So of course this does contain spoilers from Dragon Ball Super episode 86. So if you guys do not want to be spoiled then feel free to click off the video and go and watch the episode yourself and when you're finished watching it come back and you know take part in a discussion i do suggest watching this episode on crunchyroll because it helps support the anime and you know that's what we need we need to support this anime to keep it going so android 17 has been we've been told that he has actually increased his strength a lot since the cell saga after being revived and now he has a wife and three kids two of them are actually adopted and one is his own but that doesn't matter the point is he's gotten numerous times stronger than he was back then and then they said that you know he would be a terrifying opponent to go up against if he was to I guess be fought by Goku from cell saga I mean I guess I was implying now and the thing is, they were fighting around, you know, the forest that Seventeen is protecting, this whole island that has numerous animals on it. So as you watch the fight progress, it turns out that both of them were holding back, and Goku ended up going Super Saiyan Blue after being punched in the gut really hard and knocked around by Seventeen. And basically he says, he was like, to be honest, I didn't intend to transform. And then he's like, Seventeen is just like, how condescending, you actually held back but 17 actually held back as well now we don't know how much goku is holding back here in his super saiyan blue form considering we know that this transformation is a huge boost but we don't know how much for now we just know that goku is in his super saiyan form 17 no i mean in goku's super saiyan form i guess 17 is able to keep up against goku that's what i meant to say i don't know why i just jumbled up my words but 17 it's kind of interesting because Super has really been just throwing the whole power scaling out because introducing the whole power scaling, power levels, you know, when, you know, in Namek Saga when Goku was powering up, powering up against Ginyu, he had a power level 180,000 and then basically the whole point that I'm trying to say is, is that if you're trying to calculate power levels now, good luck with that because there's too many new characters, there's, they've increased so much in power that it's pointless and they're just trying to say what Vegeta said in you know Dragon Ball British is just like power levels are bullshit because at this point they basically are you've had Goku transform 100% blue against Krillin he's been kind of transforming against everybody but he's holding back obviously Krillin there's no way in hell Krillin could beat Goku in a one-on-one -on -one. the only reason he kind of hadn't I guess and kind of had a quote chance was because all he had to do was knock Goku off of that, I guess, quote, island, if you could call it, at that skyscraper. So, we're never gonna, I don't think we're gonna see a full fight between them for a while, but it's obvious that 17 couldn't beat Goku. He's not on a god level, but he's pretty powerful to be able to just go toe to toe with Goku while they were both holding back. So, I don't think that Goku is anywhere near Super Saiyan Blue, but Android 17 is pretty damn strong considering how. He's been training since Cell Saga, and it's been quite a few years since then. And it just, it's so interesting to see the potential of the androids. And I do believe that 17 is stronger than 18 now, because he's been training constantly. I wouldn't say training constantly, but he wasn't just sitting around, you know. Android 18 had a child, and she was looking after it. Of course, she's still training with Krillin now and then, but yeah. And also to say this episode, episode 86, was a really enjoyable one because we finally got Android 17 back and we finally saw how much he's changed from when he was a brutal killing machine to just a normal person who has people and things that he cares about that he wants to protect. Of course, he isn't interested in helping Goku so far. I mean, we know he's going to be in the tournament, but right now he doesn't care if the universe gets destroyed because when Goku mentioned that there was... 10 million Zenny, 17 wasn't interested in it, unlike 18, and he's he doesn't care, like I said, everyone's fate is on the line, but 17 just doesn't care, he basically thinks that 
no matter what happens if they're meant to be destroyed along everybody else then so be it so yeah but in terms of power again like I said 17 is incredibly strong which is just amazing to see that androids or cyborgs are able to just become stronger than I mean he's definitely got way more potential than a normal person would and he's actually able to increase his power even further through training that's that's insane I mean, imagine if he was like this in Trunks' timeline and he kept training instead of just shooting beams everywhere how would Trunks even if he was getting stronger how would he take him on if you know what I mean but we we don't know how strong Android is Android 17 is for sure until we actually see him perform in the tournament because that's going to include his thinking as well as his power and you know his ability to knock people off of the tournament stage in order to you know basically KO them so I do believe that Android 17 is definitely going to be a massive asset to the team and he's a very very pow powerful fighter excuse me I'm so sorry for stuttering but I'm just so excited because just this showcasing of power and fighting and choreography in this episode was just fantastic as well as the shots and I just finished the episode like 10 minutes ago so that's why I'm kinda like this but I digress 17 has come a long way in power and as a character and it's just great to see how strong he's gonna get and how strong he will be in the tournament and basically this is all I have to say um, tell me what you guys think of this fight of course I do want to say that they were both holding back we don't know 17's true potential we know how strong Goku is um, there's no way 17 could beat him although he's gotten in some good shots but Goku is just sizing him up and trying to see just how strong he is so he can get kind of a feel for you know how good he could be in the tournament against the opponents that he's already faced like the Lavender um, basically the trio of dangers and top of. so he's definitely gonna be a massive asset and if he somehow wasn't able to get him it would be a huge loss for the team so I just wanted to ask what you guys thought of that fight Did you think it was great did you guys enjoy seeing Android 17 back in the fight and just seeing him in the spotlight again and yeah this has been it for me if you guys do enjoy this discussion content do leave a comment in the comment section below and leave a rating if you want and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everybody. Peace.